Well, just this morning, Colonel Hines and the other Artemis astronauts graduated following two years of training for their missions. Colonel Hines, congratulations, first of all, on your accomplishment. We are very proud of you for that. Let me start by asking you, what's the difference between the Artemis program and the Apollo program, which so many Americans are familiar with? Oh, that's such a great question, and uh, and uh, thanks for having me today. It is uh, it is great to be able to you know talk with you and uh, and touch base with everybody back there, uh, in in an area that is so important to me and was foundational in my my growing up. Uh, Artemis is different from Apollo in that with Apollo we went. Uh, and, and the astronauts went and they were effectively camping trips. They were there for two or three days and then they turned around and came home. Uh, Artemis is an effort to not only land the first woman and the next man on the moon, but it's also gonna be an effort to stay there and, uh, and to get there and stay there sustainably. Uh, so we've got a gateway, which is a small sta space station around the moon. We're gonna be building that. And then we're gonna have uh, multiple designs for lunar landers to go down to the surface, as well as robotic operations that'll uh, involve exploration and scientific uh, research there on the surface of the moon so we can learn even more about our closest planetary body. Artemis is scheduled to put Americans back on the moon by 2024 and then move on to Mars. Realistically here, how soon until we can actually get to Mars? Put somebody on the planet. Hmm. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, one thing I will say that I think we've learned over the years is uh, don't count NASA out of anything. Uh, in 1962, when President Kennedy said, we're gonna put a person on the, uh, on the moon and return him safely to the Earth, the entire planet thought that it was impossible. Uh, and less than 10 years later, we did exactly that. And going to Mars is, is an even more difficult task, but when you bring in not only the expertise that NASA has and American ingenuity, but you look at the international partnerships that we have and the fact that we're bringing the entire world in on this this type of a journey uh, i think anything is anything is possible uh, so certainly we have a long way to go and there's a lot of technology that we need to develop along the way uh, but i think we have all the people and all the uh, the industry in place to be able to do just that air force lieutenant colonel bob hines who calls harrisburg home it's great to talk to you congratulations it's great to see a hometown boy do well thank you for your time